Masculism or masculinism may variously refer to advocacy of the rights or needs of men and boys, and the adherence to or promotion of attributes opinions, values, attitudes, habits regarded as typical of men and boys. The terms may also refer to the men's rights or men's movement. Terminology Early history According to the historian Judith Allen, Charlotte Perkins Gilman coined the term masculism in 1914, when she gave a public lecture series in New York entitled, "'Studies in Masculism". Apparently the printer did not like the term and tried to change it. Allen writes that Gilman used masculism to refer to the opposition of misogynist men to women's rights and, more broadly, to describe men's collective political and cultural actions on behalf of their own sex, or what Allen calls the sexual politics of androcentric cultural discourses. Gilman referred to men and women who opposed women's suffrage as masculists women who collaborated with these men were women who won't move forward", and described World War I as, "...masculism at its worst." CTFD in response to the lecture, W. H. Sampson wrote in a letter to the New York Times that women must share the blame for war, it is perfectly useless to pretend that men have fought, struggled and labored for themselves, while women have stayed at home, wishing they wouldn't, praying before the shrines for peace, and using every atom of their influence to bring about a holy calm. Definition and scope The Oxford English Dictionary 2000 defines masculinism, and synonymously masculism, as "...advocacy of the rights of men, adherence to or promotion of opinions, values, etc., regarded as typical of men, more generally anti-feminism, machismo." According to Susan Whitlow in the Encyclopedia of Literary and Cultural Theory 2011, the terms are "...used interchangeably across disciplines." Sociologist Robert Menzies wrote in 2007 that both terms are common in men's rights and anti-feminist literature. The intrepid virtual adventurer who boldly goes into these unabashedly masculine in ist spaces is quickly rewarded with a torrent of diatribes, invectives, atrocity tales, claims to entitlement, calls to arms, and prescriptions for change in the service of men, children, families, God, the past, the future, the nation, the planet, and all other things non-feminist. The gender studies scholar Julia Wood describes masculinism as an ideology asserting that women and men should have different roles and rights owing to fundamental differences between them, and that men suffer from discrimination and need to reclaim their rightful status as men. Sociologists Arthur Britton and Satoshi Ikeda describe masculinism as an ideology justifying male domination in society. Masculinism, according to Britain, maintains that there is a fundamental difference between men and women and rejects feminist arguments that male female relationships are political constructs. According to Ferrell Christensen, a Canadian philosopher and president of the former Alberta based movement for the establishment of real gender equality, defining masculism is made difficult by the fact that the term has been used by very few people, and by hardly any philosophers." He differentiates between "...progressive masculists," who welcome many of the societal changes promoted by feminists, while believing that some measures to reduce sexism against women have increased it against men, and an "...extremist version," of masculism that promotes male supremacy. He argued that if masculism and feminism refer to the belief that men, women are systematically discriminated against, and that this discrimination should be eliminated, there is not necessarily a conflict between feminism and masculism, and some assert that they are both. 
However, many believe that one sex is more discriminated against, and thus use one label and reject the other. The political scientist Georgia Giolatti distinguishes between masculism, which expresses the ethos of the early gender egalitarian men's movement, and masculinism, which refers to the ideology of patriarchy. Sociologists Melissa Blairs and Francis Dupuy Derry equate masculist and masculinist, attributing the former to author Warren Farrell. The most common term, they argue, is the men's movement. They write that there is a growing consensus in the French language media that the movement should be referred to as masculinist. According to Whitlow, masculinist theory such as Farrell's and that of gender studies scholar R. W. Connell developed alongside third wave feminism and queer theory, and was influenced by those theories' questioning of traditional gender roles and the meaning of terms such as man and woman. According to Bethany M. Coston and Michael Kimmel, members of the Mythopoetic Men's Movement identify as masculinist. Nicholas Davidson, in The Failure of Feminism, 1988, calls masculism, verism where the feminist perspective is that social ills are caused by the dominance of masculine values, the virus perspective is that they are caused by a decline of those values." Christensen calls verism, "...an extreme brand of masculism and masculinism." <laughs> Areas of interest Topic. Education and employment Many masculists oppose coeducational schooling, believing that single sex schools better promote the well being of boys. Data from the U.S. in 1994 reported that men suffer 94% of workplace fatalities. Farrell has argued that men do a disproportionate share of dirty, physically demanding, and hazardous jobs. Topic. Violence and suicide Masculists cite higher rates of suicide in men than women. Farrell expresses concern about violence against men being depicted as humorous, in the media and elsewhere. They also express concern about violence against men being ignored or minimized in comparison to violence against women, asserting gender symmetry in domestic violence. Another of Farrell's concerns is that traditional assumptions of female innocence or sympathy for women, termed benevolent sexism, may lead to unequal penalties for women and men who commit similar crimes, to lack of sympathy for male victims in domestic violence cases when the perpetrator is female, and to dismissal of female on male sexual assault and sexual harassment cases. Gender studies A masculist approach to gender studies, which have frequently focused on woman-based or feminist approaches, examines oppression within a masculinist, patriarchal society from a male standpoint. <laughs> South African masculinist evangelical movements In the wake of the abolition of apartheid, South Africa saw a resurgence of masculinist Christian evangelical groups, led by the Mighty Men Conference and a complementary Worthy Women Conference. The latter saw the development of formanism. Formanism, like masculinism, subscribes to a belief in the inherent superiority of men over women in other words, only men can be leaders, but unlike masculinism, it not an ideology developed and sustained by men, but one constructed, endorsed and sustained by women. The Mighty Men movement harkens back to the Victorian idea of muscular Christianity. Feminist scholars argue that the movement's lack of attention to women's rights and the struggle for racial equality makes it a threat to women and to the stability of the country. Scholar Miranda Pillay argues that the Mighty Men movement appeal lies in its resistance to gender equality as incompatible with Christian values, and in raising patriarchy to a hyper-normative status. 
Beyond challenge by other claims to power, the Worthy Women movement is an auxiliary to mighty men in advocating monism, a belief in the inherent superiority of men over women. Their leader, Greta Wiid, blames South Africa's disorder on the liberation of women, and aims to restore the nation through its families, making women again subservient to men. Her success is attributed to her balancing claims that God created the gender hierarchy, but that women are no less valuable than men, and that restoration of traditional gender roles relieves existential anxiety in post-apartheid South Africa. See also Men's Organizations Fathers for Justice International Men's Day the 19th of November Trinidad and Tobago Jamaica Australia India United States Singapore United Kingdom Malta South Africa Hungary Ireland Ghana and Canada save Indian family notable people associated with masculism Robert Bly equals <laughs> equals notes <laughs>